Hi guys, Glory Hunter back with something a little bit different. We have a CEX £10 challenge. Now this is totally inverted, uh, didn't mean to do this at all. And after watching uh, Gonandilio do this a few times, um, I just picked up a few bits in CEX on the way home from work one morning and it came to £10. So I thought, well, there's a £10 challenge. Didn't mean to do it at all, didn't go in purposely to do it, it just ended up that way. So I thought, well, may as well do a video on it. Um, Good and Julio does a great job. Uh, go over to his channel, check it out, he does this quite regularly. Um, this probably won't be a regular thing, it's just some, like I say, it just randomly happened. So I thought I'd show what I got in my £10 challenge, if you like. So like I say, just go in, uh, walking home from work one afternoon, nipped in CEX, picking up a load of cheap titles for the 360 to add to the collection and yeah managed to get exactly £10 and a bonus game so maybe just over £10 uh, so yeah there was a couple of titles I did pick up um, but ended up putting back because they didn't have the manuals and stuff there was a paintball game I wanted uh, but didn't have some manuals to put that back so kind of made my own rules as well as I was going through um, don't really collect sports titles so you know, he doesn't have sports titles in his challenges. Uh, obviously, it makes it too easy. Obviously, the, the idea is to get as many games as you can for a tenner. Um, also, all my games are, like, complete. So, they all have manuals. Anything without a manual, like I say, goes back. Uh, which is why the first game that I'll show you cost a little bit more for the challenge. I could have had more games. But, like I say, they didn't have the manuals. So, we actually got seven games. All on the 360. Like I say, it went in for 360 titles. Load of cheap ones, all pretty much a pound rather than other than the, the first couple. So anyway, let's get on. This could be short and sweet because I've got a bit of a cold. You can probably tell with the sniffle. So just a quick short video because I don't want to be sniffing and coughing all over the video and have cuts and all over the place. Uh, so just a quick short one. So like I say, quick £10 CX challenge. First game we got, game I have fully completed, got the 1000G on it. Um... From back in, I think my blockbuster days when I got it, but I wanted it in the collection because I got the sequel. So it is the first Saw game, and this is 350, the most expensive game I got in this challenge, just to bump it up um, because of them games I put back. But yeah, 350, it is complete. So that will just be going on the wall. Like I said, I've already finished that one, so we'll pop that there. Next game, I know there's a few of these. I think this might be the first one on the 360. And then there's a, well, definitely four, and I think five as well. Um, but Tropico, Tropico 3 for £1.50. So £1.50 for a game. It's kind of a, almost a building sim kind of game. So obviously you have an island, and you build buildings and rule the island, essentially. Um, yeah, I've only played it a little bit, so need to get more into that. Manual, just have a sticker on, we'll try and get off at some point. And then I think all of these games left are a pound each, so quid for a game. That's what I mean, just seeing a load of cheap ones, like, yeah, I'll have that, I'll have that. Just picking up anything for a quid, and in the end, it came for two tenner. So, spot on. So, first one, we have Warriors Arachi 2. So, I think kind of, I don't know if it's a, like, yeah, it says Samurai Warriors on it, kind of that kind of game maybe not or a little bit like the destiny warriors game as well plus there is a versus mode on there so a one-on-one -on -one, or even i think it's three on three um fighter on there as well I've not played too much but yeah it's might have multiple game modes on there nice manual in there nice artwork so it's all complete so yeah warriors are actually two for a quid then it won't have been after for a while like I keep saying, uh, but trying to get the full art version of this is actually a bit of a pain. Just keep coming across this, the classics version with the shunken artwork. But for a quid, we finally have Project Gotham Racing 3. So I've got the first two on the OG Xbox, obviously. Um, I do need now the fourth one on the 360, all complete. But I think I had the same problem is I keep coming across the, the classics one or like a bundle copy one. So I look out for the, the full artwork on that one. Then we have... I don't really class this as a sports title. I don't know, some people might. Depends how you look at it. Uh, but it's Supremacy MMA. 
So it's more, it's a fighter, it's not a sports title, even though it's based on a kind of sport, if you like. But yeah, it's basically an MMA game. It does have female MMA stars in this as well. And I think some actual fighters in the game. I think there was some controversy when this came out with um, the UFC. And trying to get the game out, if I recall. I'm not sure. It's a 505 game, Eddie. 505. There we are. Um, but yeah, all complete. I did try playing it. Um... I struggled a little bit just with the controls, trying to, especially the ground game, the ground moves. Um, but then we'll get back into it and see. I think the online on that is now is gone, so I don't think you can do it. Um, probably the pick of the bunch, maybe. Um, a little unknown game, if you like, or one that gets overlooked a bit. Inversion for the 360. It's got the, the artwork there with him walking down the wall. We can have it, obviously that way but I was playing this um, in a challenge that I've recently done or complete and yeah it's actually quite good really interesting game so it plays kind of a bit like a Gears of War style game so third person cover base shooter um, however there's like gravity things that go on and you kind of can stick to walls and ceilings and you know walk along walls and that kind of stuff uh, in the beginning of the game, you get kind of shifted from walking down the street to the side of the wall, and then you take cover in like windows and stuff. But yeah, it seems quite good. Very similar to Gears of War in places like these people have come from underground and are taking over the city. Um, yeah, a lot of inspiration from the Gears series. But if you like Gears of War, then definitely pick this up because you know probably be your thing. Um, I'm probably going to go through this. In one of my next games that I've started playing. Um, yeah, I was really enjoying it. So get back into that. And the last game for the £10 uh, that we got for a quid. It's a Kinect game. I'm trying to get all them Kinect games, I think. Um, don't know much about it at all. It's Kinect, Nat Geo, America the Wild TV thing. I think it's like a TV quiz kind of game. I'm not sure. It says it's got volume one and two. So it's got different kind of, there we are, animals and what have you on different volumes. So it's a two disc game. We have a one slip of paper in there and our two discs, volume one and two with bears and wolves on it. So yeah, that was our £10 challenge. And like I say, there was a bonus game because I did find a game for 50p. And after picking up that first one, I came across this as well. It's another Nat Geo quiz, wildlife. So yeah, more like a quiz game, natural, National Geographic game, say 50p. So we picked that up as well. And yeah, I think it was just like a quiz game. I'm not sure it was like a, a party kind of quiz game thing. Let's have a look. Yeah, one to four players. So I don't know, might be fun at like Christmas or something, get the family around and just have a bit of a, a quiz. We like our quizzes, so probably give that a go. And that was it, our £10 game challenge and a bonus game, just because it was there. So yeah, if you've played any of these, let me know. Like I say, quick short video, because I'm still a bit unwell. Um, but when I get better, I've got some more videos planned. When I'm feeling more up to it and not so drowsy, we'll get on them. So, hope you enjoy, guys. Quick short video, like I say, quick challenge. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye for now.